let's talk about using attach in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. I personally like to use attach a lot when I'm making cards. And so let's just make a base card. So I'm going to take a shape, like a square, and then I'm going to unlock it and stretch it so it's a rectangle. And I'm going to look at my edit and see that my height of my rectangle is four inches. Okay. Okay, so now I can change this to any color I want. Um, so we're gonna do a pink card. Then under shapes, I am going to insert a line. This is gonna be a score line. And I can tell that it's a score line because when I go into my layers option, right here it says line and score. So now I want to go into edit and make that score line four inches because that's the same um, as my card. So now I want the score line right in the center of that card. So I'm going to select both things and tell it to align it to the center. So now it's positioned exactly in the center of that card. So then the Cricut will score that line and then cut the rectangular tangle around it for the card shape. Now, to tell the Cricut this is how I want to hold this placement, I have to highlight everything and under actions, I will hit attach. Attach tells it to hold the placement and positioning. Now I can move both of these items, the rectangle and the score line, around together. They're working as one element. I can resize them together because I've attached them to each other. Okay, so another thing I can use attach for is for text. I'm going to find some writing fonts in here. There we go. And let's just use this first one. And I'm going to type in um, happy birthday. Okay, so now I have a happy birthday and I can just click on the same and resize it down so that fits right there on that card. Um, so now if I want to tell the Cricut to make sure you write the words happy birthday exactly where I positioned them. I want to select everything and go actions and attach. And now you can see that it all moves around together. It resizes together so I can make this card as big or small as I want. And it's going to write the words with the pen, a Cricut writing pen, score the line and cut the rectangle. So that's one of the ways you can use attach. Um, another way to use attach would be if you have multiple items and you want them to cut out in the exact same way in design space. For example, if I had a whole bunch of hearts and I moved them around into kind of a, a pattern Okay, so if I want this exact arrangement, oh, maybe I want some of them tilted. There we go. So I want them to cut exactly like this, how I have them placed. If I select everything and under actions, I hit attach. When I go to the next screen of making it, they'll cut out exactly like this, the ones that are um, tilted will cut tilted. If you're ever designing things with text in it, that, um, there we go. Let's look here at this text. If 
Wow, that is taking a long time to load. Sorry about that. So sometimes when you will type something up in Cricut Design Space and then hit make it, you'll notice that the it changes the order of the letters. It's going into kind of a space-saving mode. And it's trying to group all the taller, bigger letters together so that they take up the same amount of space and then the smaller letters towards the end to conserve material. Um, they're also trying to adjust the spacing in between them to conserve space and get as much out of the least material as possible. But if you want your letters to stay exactly like this and cut out exactly like this, always go into Actions and hit Attach. That attaches the letters and holds the placement in position. I hope this helped you to understand Attach and make sure you like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you're first to see all of my new videos. Thanks.